Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm sitting in the car and I was putting on my foundation and I thought why don't I film this video for those of us who tend to sleep in, press the snooze button a few times and are late for work. And I'm technically not late but I'm putting my makeup in the car because I wanted to leave the house at a certain time. So that's what I'm doing and for foundation I'm using, this is in the Maybelline Dream App Mousse container but i'm using uh this is the a2 das bb cream which i love the staying power and how it makes my skin look but i do not like how it's it's too cool for me i could tell that especially in the light and stuff and i'm sorry i have to put the visor down of the car and so it's gonna be a shadow on my forehead but i'm using a beauty blender and i don't know some of you are like how did you wet your beauty blender i actually wet it before I brought it with me because I love just how easy it is to apply your foundation and also uh, just it goes really quickly and you're it doesn't look like you have too much makeup on uh, because it does look like an airbrush look or actually it, you have makeup on but it's not like um, like look cakey or anything that's the word I'm looking for so I still have morning voice I apologize for that and how are you guys it's the new well into the new year uh, I stopped saying happy new year to people I didn't know I wasn't sure like I mean there's no time frame to you know say happy new year but I stopped saying it I guess I saw everybody that I usually see So I just keep on pressing that in to the skin and it's always so hard for me on the forehead. I don't know if you guys can see. I always get it in my hair and whenever I see videos of people doing their makeup, I never see them get powder on their powder or foundation on them on the hairline. And I'm like so jealous. So I bring it all the way down. Now, on camera, it looks like it's a pretty good color match, but really it's um, just a little too cool. Which is interesting, because BB Creams, well, the one A2 House, the one from A2 House is Asian, and most of us have yellow undertones, right? So there's this, I want I don't even want to call it a pimple. It is bad, really, really bad. So I'm gonna put a little bit of extra foundation on there just tap it in I should probably do it with my fingers but I'm just gonna lightly tap that because ooh, it's scary and you know I used to break out if you've been watching me for a long time I went through a period where I was getting really bad cystic acne and my face has cleared up a lot um I don't know if it's due to I've been I did have retin-a and I had some other topical treatments but I started taking birth control for my painful periods. And that has, I have to say, that has helped with my skin. Um, it's annoying to take every day, the birth control. But I, uh, it, was, it has been really good for my periods and my skin. Okay, so that's my foundation. And then for powder, again, in a different container. I just got on my last, I was trying to finish up my Milani Multitasker face powder. And I'm, I got the color medium. Is it light medium? I think it might be light medium, but I really need light, so I was trying to finish up the light medium. And can you tell that I hate not using something that I have when I should be really using a different color? But I have to, I, I want to finish it up and not give it, not, not, not give it away. I'm actually the only one of my friends and family that really loves makeup, and so. I uh, just want to use these products up. And this is a uh, Makeup Forever uh, Kabuki brush that I got in a set a long time ago from Sephora. So you got the foundation, this brush, uh, many of the, the powder, the HD powder. And that was like, and I think there was even a primer. Yeah, a face primer. And that was like 70 something dollars, which is a really good deal. They got rid of that. Um, or actually, they didn't get rid of it. I think they increase the price so what I do is I 
blacken my eyelids because they are so oily. And then I go back and I go underneath my eye and lock that in. Oh, you will notice I didn't put concealer on. I just, if I am in a rush, I'm just doing the basic, basic, basic. So I'm going to get some more. Put that on my, oh, this family that's passing. Is that the family? Like, you know, when you park in the same neighborhood every day, you kind of see the same people. And this guy, I guess he's the dad. He's always yelling at the family and saying, you're making me late. You're making me late. Like, every time I see them, he's always talking about how late they are. And I work in Brooklyn. And if any of you are familiar you know, parking is a premium, and especially they have alternate side, alternate side parking, which if you're not uh, from the city area, it's where a street cleaner comes down and cleans the street. So, it's like, today's Friday, and I'm parked at Thursday, on a Thursday side, so I'm okay, but, like, it gets really complicated, and people block you in, and to, so they, like, they double park on one side of the street cleaning side and they block you in if you're parked on that side and um I've been locked in a few times so blocked in a few times um but I got a spot and it was big enough for another car to fit behind me and she was like thank you because some people you know take up a lot of space and I have to be honest I'm I kind of do that sometimes because I don't want to have to be struggling to get out when I want to get out at the end of the day but I'm learning to be a little bit more conscious of that and you know if there's room for someone else to park behind me then I should let them okay so that is for powder this is gonna take forever that because I'm talking but it usually takes me five minutes to do okay now because I'm feeling oh you know what since I'm almost done with the Milani powder I brought in my makeup forever which I've had forever the dual matte powder and again, this is too dark. I must have gotten these things in the summertime or something. Or I I looked online. And most of the time I find when I look online, it's a shade, always a shade dark, too dark. So um, most people, I guess, like the bronze, you know, darker look. But for me, I like to, I don't know. I just, I could tell in the light that it's too dark. So that's why I brought that powder down. Uh, because I'm feeling fancy, I'm going to do highlighter and bronzing. A contouring normally these are the two steps C concealer bronzer and highlighter are the two steps that I will skip if I don't have any time but I have some time so I'm gonna do that I brought this up and up brush from Target this is a great brush for um, I use this for highlighting for blush and for uh, for uh, contouring so this is a really great brush and I bring this um, it could be any bronzer, but I bring that sometimes if I want to do an eye look. I will with my finger put it on my eyelid. I might do that today. So I just go in. And this brush is great because it is tapered in. So these aren't exactly my favorite products, but I it's a lot of products that I'm trying to use up. That's the whole point of... Well, actually, I guess it's not the whole point of getting makeup. Some things just you want because they look pretty. But I'm trying to use up a lot of my makeup to get to just my favorites. And then maybe once I get to that point, I don't know if I ever will, with, especially with eyeshadows. But I think I'm going to um, get down to my favorites and then maybe once in a while get something that sparks my fancy. Instead of just getting everything, everything. I, oh, I wish I had that with me. I got this, these Burt's Bees lipsticks that are really, really nice. And they last kind of long. I'm saying kind of, I'm saying that with a little bit of shock. Because it's, you know, you consider Burt's Bees to be sort of a lip balm. You know, they don't last that, that long on the lips color wise. Okay, so I put a little bit, and then I am going to apply, you know what, I'm going to apply the highlighter first because I'm going to apply blush, and I don't want the blush to go on my cheeks, so I'm going to actually wipe the brush down. Okay, so today we are doing, with the kids, we're doing a read-a-thon. We're going to try to read for two hours straight. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try that, and I did, I did bring my PJs, 
I didn't wear my PJs now, but we're going to also read in our pajamas. So I brought these. Aren't they so cute? We did have a pajama day party, and I wore a onesie, and I was like, it's too, it's too much. The onesie, I can't, can't go to the bathroom. I mean, I could go to the bathroom, but it takes forever. So I'm going to put this. This is MAC, Mineral Eye Skin Finish. There was a hair by Candlelight. Uh, this is really pretty. It's more, I feel like it shows up a little bit pinker. And I've come to realize, I guess you don't notice these things until you um, try it out and you are noticing some things. But this is more like pinky highlighter. And I think I like more of the champagne or like uh, golden highlighter. Okay. And then for blush, I brought, this is fantastic. If you guys have not tried this, which I hope some of you have, in either the light or the dark, but the dark is my favorite, which is the one that I have. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. And this is just, ugh. Every color is amazing. Every, every color. I'm going to swatch it again because I just love it so much. This hair will not go away. Okay, not my hair. Ava hair, of course. Oh, that's something else I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, after I show you the swatches. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Just fantastic. Oh, so, so good. So, Ava, um, usually I have someone watch her, um, which is my family. Uh, but they all went to Florida, and so she's been by herself and it's been I think harder for me because she's always with somebody and you know she's pretty good about the bathroom and stuff when I first left her though she would get into quite a few accidents one and two uh but I think she's gotten used to uh, you know, Sheba's I have a Shiba Inu they're used to the solitude uh, they're solitary animals they're very cat-like and they don't mind being left alone but it's something for me um, I, maybe that's the same way. I don't have kids, but maybe it's the same way for parents who have, who think they're like, and kids when they separate for school or, um, empty nest, it's separation anxiety is more on the person, the adult. Uh, so I feel kind of silly, but I do miss her and I wonder what she's doing. I think a lot of pet owners wonder what, even if it's not a dog, like a cat or like a bird or something, like what do they do during the day? I think she just sleeps, uh, but I don't know. So the color I'm going to use, I love this one right here. It's like a, a really uh, rosy, I want to say rosy pink, but it's just a deeper color and it's beautiful, just beautiful. So not a lot and I'm even going to tap it off here. It looks like I don't have a lot on, but I do. If I put any more, I'm going to look like a clown. In my opinion. I don't know. I'm Sometimes I'm very light-handed when I probably could go full on. Okay, so let's see here. What do I make up in the cars? Like, annoying just because there's no room in here. Especially in this car, there's no room in here. So for eyebrows, I do, if I remember I will try it I'm trying to finish this up Maybelline brow drama and this one is in the color deep brown so I just brush it through because my brows are a little they don't need much filling in or anything when I'm feeling fancy sometimes I will but I don't feel fancy that often <laughs> this is just my bare minimal look which is not even bare it's a lot of things going on uh, and then for eyebrows, I want to talk to you guys about a new, not eyebrows, my lashes. So I got, I've been trying out tons of eyelash curlers, a lot from the drugstore, dollar store. And I saw this at Target, the Sonia Kashuk. First off, I love this like charcoal chrome color kind of thing, but this is amazing. I'm going to keep on getting this one because I just, it's nice shape for my eyes. And I think that does, ha that does matter a little bit when you're trying to use 
uh, eyelash curler. I like the e.l.f. one, but I'm finding that one is just cheaply made. Um, I mean, it's a dollar, so I can't, I can't complain too much, but, like, it just... It's, it's good, but then it just doesn't last very long. So I love this one. It's I think it's $8. It's amazing. It comes with a pad refill. Now, I'm trying to remember if I saw a pad refill so separately there. They might. Uh, but this is just really, really good, and I wanted to share that with you guys. I brought my Sonia Kashuk. This is the eye groomer, I guess. Uh, this side is amazing, and... I brought that. Um, I'm probably not going to use it, though. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes. And I was watching someone, and they're like, lift it up when you curl your lashes. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to look at myself with a smaller mirror. And this mascara is the, it's also on its last legs. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational. I like it. It holds my curl. It's um, it's a pretty good mascara. I don't think it beats out my CoverGirl, which is probably my Holy Grail mascara. But it was nice to try it. And it was pretty good. It is waterproof. That's very important for my lashes. And to get it off, I mean, I don't have that much trouble, but I use my Abilene or Abilene. I've never been able to figure out how to pronounce that. It's a, it's kind of like that balmy uh, cleanser where it actually it looks like Vaseline, but I know there's bombs out there, makeup bombs that you do that you use to take off your mascara or makeup. Okay, so the last thing is lips, and I. Sometimes I don't even put anything on. I still have my lip balm on. Not the last thing. I just lied to you guys. Uh, so I put the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I'm almost done with this too. Be careful with the mascara that it doesn't transfer down. And I do like to use a lot. Um, I just It just feels good and it dries pretty fast. Okay, for lips, I do have a makeup bag that I bring with me that has just powder so I could touch up if they're I'm shiny or there's like you know that pimple right there sometimes it wants to peek through so my friend gave me this bag which I forgot if I showed in my Christmas video what I got for Christmas it's so cute I love this color it's one of, one of my favorite colors and I have a few lipsticks in here. Oh no, I was bringing another lipstick to try. Normally I'm not the scatterbrain, but I wasn't planning on doing this video. Uh, but this is the YSL lipstick in 09. And I did win this from Influencer, which was totally amazing. And I did win another thing from them. It was a Marc Jacobs mascara, the Velvet Noir, which I was Again, couldn't believe it. Oh, there's his family. They're so cute. Did she just pick up a book? I'm not sure. Maybe he dropped it. Oh, in Brooklyn, it's amazing. People don't throw things away. I mean, they throw legit garbage, but books and shoes they will, that are still in good condition, they will leave it on their stoop or on the sidewalk for you to uh, take. And I'm guilty of picking up a couple of things. Um... So that's really cool. That's what I love about this neighborhood. So this is just a great everyday lipstick, which I guess I don't know how to apply lipstick. And it lasts for a pretty long time, which is really nice. And it feels nice and it tastes good. So that is... Um, my lipstick and I have the bite lipstick and sable uh you know the small size Burt's Bees and Cherry um the Clarins Eclat Minute lip thing I brought my eyeliner which I never really use this is the 
L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder. Not my favorite, uh, but I, I don't know if you could tell I hit pan on it. And I do bring with me the Burberry Brit and Sheer. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really fun uh, doing this and showing you uh, my out the not out the door makeup routine, my makeup routine in the car uh, for when I'm really late or I just don't feel like doing my makeup at home. And I don't do this every day, just once in a while. Um, and a lot of the products that I showed you are things I'm trying to finish up and. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you very soon. I I want to do a video. I just wasn't sure what, like usual. And uh, let me know if you, if you want a specific video from me. And I will talk to you soon. Happy Friday. For me, this is Friday. So happy Friday. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.